hello guys welcome in this video we'll see how to do self test and simulation test on this model of smart audio me either you might have this model or the second model whichever it is the functioning is same so let's start so first you have to come down to the main menu this is the main menu here go for oil discharge flow meter cargo type here now oil discharge if there is any quantity press enter and reset it make sure that you are making the quantity zero because if you do simulation test otherwise it will count as oil discharge so make sure in oil discharge you are putting the quantity zero alarm limit date if you want to change time start oil discharge is not applicable as we are going to do the test and come down then come to service mode general setting now this is a flow meter in this flow meter come enter put it on manual there is another flow meter enter put it on manual then it will be asking ship speed enter put it on manual now this minimum speed speed maximum speed if you want you can enter and change them if you want but as i'm keeping them however they are so i'm not uh, changing them but if you want you can change the speed but put everything on manual this working pressure and all date time and all you normally we don't change it use gps yes and all these setting printer terminal we don't change it save and exit and thereafter we will go for system test so first we will perform a self test so whenever we do any test or decanting make sure that the fresh water and odme air is on so we have switched on fresh water and air for odme and after that you can see it is checking for fresh water it will check for air it will check the motor pump it will check the measuring says okay or not the signals coming from the sensors like gps is okay or not so all of those things it will check during this self test so while performing decanting or simulation mode we always have to do self test first so once the self test is passed here you can see it is showing measuring cell is okay fresh water supply okay sample pump is okay all these things it is showing okay 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 air wiper air supply wiper 1000 km test and all now once we have done that now we can come to simulation mode and we'll perform the simulation test now once we do the simulation test in this what we have to do is as you can see over here it is showing 1 liter per nautical mile i'll keep on pressing the up button and i'll keep on increasing the liter per nautical mile up to 30 liters per nautical mile so once it reaches to 30 liters per nautical mile in that time we can see that the overboard discharge valve shall close now it is open once it reaches you can see the alarm is gone and the overboard discharge valve is closed so this is what we have to do or this is what we have to check during the simulation mode. now i'll bring down those value now once it is below the liter per nautical mile you can see overboard valve is open so i'll bring it back to zero now still the overboard discharge valve is open so this is what we have to check whether our overboard discharge valve valve is closing and opening at right intervals or not or while we enter the right values so once we are done with the test i'll click close and now you can see overboard discharge valve is closed so that's it with simulation test so now to extract the file for print out what we have to do is normally i put a cable this is the connection for it and i'll this connection over here this cable normally you can find it in printers also normally on printers we have one end like this i have connected this is an extension black color cable is an extension cable i have connected to my computer then in here i have a software i am ulock open this software com4 this is the one where i have to go com4 i have to select this then go over here log that output come here now there is sm means simulation st means self test so first i will take feed for self test which i did view log on ye or dump log i want this log to be dumped fetch to files enter done now you can see over here 
in this my self test has appeared again i will press enter go to my simulation mode i just want single single file i'm not taking the whole log only the particular one which i did today enter view log or dump log press enter fetch to files output format done and now you can see over here both of them are there my self test and my simulator simulation test both the tests are present over here both of them i have now i will just copy them and paste them over here that's it you give it here it says you can see self test and here it says simulation and i'll just print this out that's it once you're done now to come out from this if you will just press this down 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 it will take very long time so just keep it press down button and you'll come down to the last entry and there you can come back and that's how you can come back to your main menu take out the cable remove the cord from here and just take print out of this and i will file it in my odm records So this is my monthly ODME test record. That's how I will sign it. My self test, my simulation test I've done right over here, and sign it. And then I'll make an entry in my call record. So now once we are done with our testing, then we'll go back and put all those things which we have put on manual to auto. all of these things which we have taken on manual now we have put back those to auto so that's it now this is in our normal operation so on some ship with this odme they might give a separate printer that's a separate printer we have on board present ship for uh, print outs to take out the print out so it's very simple to operate put the adapter here we have on and off button Press it on. The light will be powered. Behind this, it has a cable. Make sure you connect the cable. Then connect this cable over here, RS232 cable. So once it is connected, and once you have performed your test, so again we'll go to log data output. Press enter. It will show all the logs. So this is my self test. Press enter. Print the log on printer. So that's our printer. Make sure you check your paper inside this that it has sufficient paper inside this. So that's my self test. That is being printed. So once it has printed, press enter. Here again, then we will we'll print the simulation test. Press enter. print log on the printer press i'll press enter and it will be printed over here So that's it. I have printed out. I'll tear this off. This so inside this. This is our cartridge. This is my cartridge. That's my paper. So make sure you have sufficient paper and cartridge. So that's it with this. I'll switch it off. Take out the power. Now this is a tip for guys watching out there. On my ship, 
I was getting an alarm for GPS. Basically, it was showing a GPS error always. Even though when I have tried switching uh, the GPS from one to two on bridge, but still I was getting alarm. So how did we resolve the GPS alarm? Was we went to service mode, went to system setup, and here it has the setting speed log. Which one you want to use from the ship or from the GPS? Before it was selected on GPS. We were getting the direct feed from GPS. I wasn't able to do my test because uh, I was always getting the alarm. Then I changed my setting to ship. So during the simulation test, self test, all these speeds were taken from the ship. Basically, it's not directly coming from the GPS. It it is coming to ODME buffer unit. Then from there, it is being displayed over here. So that was the tip. If you are getting any GPS alarm, you can change your speed lock instead of GPS to ship.